Right, I look like shit. <laughs> Monday morning, it's almost 6 a.m. Um, so, 8th of the 8th. I'm gonna go check if the training room is open. Oh, free, because I didn't uh, reserve some time. So, I'm gonna go check that out. Worst case scenario, I can do yoga here. I pressed snooze once, but other than that, I'm glad I'm up. Do I want to go back to bed? Sure. But we got this. <laughs> glad that I got up that I'm up that's like the hardest thing for me at the moment is like getting out of bed so like right now like maybe like the hardest part of the day kind of is done not really like it's still a rush I still have a thousand things to do this morning before my classes but I'm up I did something good for my body and my brain I showered and now I'm gonna have some food so I think it's a good start whatever happens next good day bad day tough mental day at least I had a good start so I'm gonna have breakfast now yeah hair washing day anyway day three all done I know it's gonna start getting hard now because I'm kind of like ah oh, yoga every day 30 days really but I feel better. I mean, I look tired as fuck and I feel kind of tired as fuck, but I feel better. I am making an effort every day to think positive thoughts. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but at least I'm gonna try like the yoga for 30 days and hopefully with the yoga I can, you know, continue to think positive thoughts. I have been sleeping much, much better, but I think it's because, um, my PMDD is done for for a month or hopefully two months fingers crossed it stays away longer this time and because uh, I usually have really bad insomnia when I'm during that hell week of PMDD so I don't know which one maybe it's a combination of both but uh, last week I, it took me like one hour to two hours to try and fall asleep now I'm falling asleep in a matter of like 30 minutes so yay I'm really happy about that um, so yeah, I think I'm on the mend. I think it's going well. Fingers crossed that it keeps going good. This is day eight. Um, technically day seven because I skipped a yoga day yesterday, but I'm hoping I can do one more tonight. The reason why I didn't do yoga yesterday is because I got back home past 7 p.m. And um, it's been... Well, today is day three of me being back on SSRIs because I just couldn't deal with the inside of my head anymore. I still had some left over from when I used to take them. I brought them here with me. Uh, so I only have like a limited amount, a limit, limited supply. So it's not like I can be on them for a long time. I don't want to be on them for long, but if things continue to be like how they are now, I just can't deal with things. I need I need to give my brain a break. I need to give like my emotions a break because I can't deal with it anymore. But the downside is that same as last time I ugh, hang on. Ugh, last time I started SSRIs. Like this is the fourth time. The first two times I didn't have all these side effects. Last time I did and they are debilitating like um i feel so sick i feel so nauseous 
the inside of my head it's like King Kong is in there and trying to break out but like from the really like the center of my brain like it's not hitting on the walls of my head it's not giving me a headache but like from the inside of my brain I can feel like in my neck Ugh, it just feels really horrible as you can see from my face I'm exhausted uh, yesterday I kind of fainted in public which was not fun luckily there was someone to catch me uh, which was probably not fun for them either <laughs> this random well there was someone I knew but it's still like this random person fainting on you uh, in public um, where like you know like J Japan so it was kind of humiliating regardless um, so yeah yesterday I got back home after the second dose at around 7 p.m. and I just I was dead I, I fell asleep at 8 p.m. it's the only thing I did I came home I brushed my teeth washed my face climbed into bed and I was just like out <laughs> uh, I couldn't do anything I couldn't go on my phone I couldn't watch a movie it was just I was dead so yeah today's day three I felt really shitty this morning then I feel like yesterday's dose kind of like dipped so I had like kind of a small window. I still feel like super shaky. Like my body is like involuntary movements, and I heard it's kind of normal. It could be a potential side effect, but for me, for some reason, it's really strong. Um, so I was shaky, but I could still manage to get some work. And then I was like, okay, I have to take my third dose. I can't like change the time too much. So around like 3.30 p.m. I took the third dose and I'm really starting to feel it now. I think it's like past five. Yeah, it's like 5.20. I can feel like my head like just snapping and my jaw clenching and my whole body shaking and I'm like I'm getting hot and stuff. It's like not fun. I think it's gonna last me another couple of days. It's gonna go like down so I'm hoping that by the end of the week um, I feel better uh, on one hand it sucks that I have to go back on them while I'm on holiday because I would rather like yeah, have, have a fun time and you know do everything that I want to do uh, during my during my break but also I can't imagine taking like starting them and being at school I can't afford to miss any more school days so I'm hoping by the time I get go back to school, I think it's on Thursday, I think Thursday is when we go back to school, <laughs> I better double check, um, <laughs> I think I'm hoping that by Thursday it will have been almost a week, it will have been six days I think since the first dose, I'm hoping that the symptoms will be more manageable, so fingers crossed for that, so that's the update for day eight technically hoping I can do the yoga tonight and that I won't be too dead maybe I should do it soon but I am struggling through my summer homework <laughs> but I'm starting late and I'm starting with a really delirious brain so a lot of fun it's Friday yay TGIF look at that frizz this is end of the day frizz <sighs> but now I can relax a little, a little bit a little bit I'm still gonna try and do some homework tonight because usually weekends I'm super busy so gonna relax now I'm watching Extraordinary Attorney Wu I actually kind of like it I don't know if anyone else watches this it's one of the top trending uh, series on Netflix and Jap Japanese Netflix Right now it's a K-drama series, but it's actually really good. I, I didn't expect to like it so much. Um, so I had my supper and now I'm gonna have like this really junky food dessert famima. I really like these crepes. They're complete junk food. I've had the tiramisu one. I think I've had the chocolate one, but I've never had this... I think it's caramel. I don't know, it's just new. It's new. This is it. And I wanted to show you because I <laughs> I really like okay, I'm gonna try not to drop it while I do it in with one hand. Okay, I can't do it with one hand. Hang on. Let's switch. Ugh. Like this, hang on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it got it's got this little flippy thing. So you can just enjoy it like this. How awesome is this? Like Japanese packaging is so much fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
this is decadent for sure that is the sound of the outdoor door squeaking okay can i have this and relax and after i will do boing <laughs> a little bit of homework saturday morning oh man <laughs> No, I'm gonna have a song stuck in my head. You know, we're crying, cracking about I hate that song. No, no, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, too late. Oh, God, do you know the song I'm talking about? Um, I think it's like every time I think of the word Saturday morning, it's like Saturday morning, jump out of bed. <laughs> no, I hate that song. Why you gotta be so rude? Yep. I'm gonna have that stuck in my head for the rest of the day. Anyway, Saturday morning. Um, still got a bunch of things to do before I leave, but today I think I have. I think we're going to like a festival or like a firework event, but we don't have tickets. But we're hoping to get close enough to see the fireworks. We're going back to Kawagoe, but not the same Kawagoe area as last time. Wow, that was like a lot of information in the wrong order. Um, but yeah, um, I'm starting to get ready, but I've got so, so many things to do. Gotta do the laundry, gotta wash the sheets, dry the sheets, put the sheets back on. I gotta vacuum this place. Maybe do some more laundry, but we'll see. The sheets are like priority. I'm putting way too much of this product in my hair. Ah. Yeah, but. But yeah, I'm hoping to get to film some stuff. I'm going with that same friend who doesn't like being on camera, so it's a little bit tricky to. Ah, shit, it's still pretty wet. Let's get things done. This has been a lifesaver. Uh, Frizz E Serum by John Frieda. Had to import it, but uh, it does help with the frizz at least a little bit. So, just a little pump. But yeah, I'm gonna at least take like film on my phone as much as I can. Hoping to get a few nice, nice shots for today. What else do I have to do? yoga i skipped yoga yesterday for the first time i was like i don't i just don't want to do it which sucks because i've been on a on a streak so I, this is my first day that i'm skipping i did miss a day last sunday but that's because i came home so late and i was exhausted but last night i would have had time for it i just i just wanted to get into bed and watch a movie to be honest so yep and last sunday like um monday because I was still on, on holiday, I was able to do two sessions. So yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do two sessions today. So that's too bad. But yeah. Uh, I guess I'll try and fit that in this morning. Because I, I know if I, st if I start skipping days, I'm just going to quit. I know myself. And uh, yeah, I was like on day 12 or something. So it really sucks to to have become lazy at that point oh god is anyone else like losing so much hair like it's not even fall yet i usually lose so much hair around fall but i guess it's like mid-august past mid-august mid -August now so maybe it's early early hair melting this is how i dry my hair i leave it like this for a little bit and it frizzes less kind of and then i add some more of this once it's almost dry i know i look like an idiot right now but <laughs> this is how i do it i add more of this when it's like only like a little bit humid and then i let it dry a little more and then i use the flat, I flat iron to uh style it there you go <laughs> this i don't know like i bought it to try it's like remedy liquid keratin because at first before summer started my hair was already starting to frizz and i was like what the hell is happening so i was like maybe my hair is damaged and i need some keratin in it so yeah i guess these are my two uh, hair products and i need to buy some no more shampoo and i want to buy the function of beauty like with the anti-frizz option but it's like so freaking pricey and as you know i'm broke <laughs> close to bankruptcy broke so we'll see if i have to stick to drugstore shampoo for a little longer 
yeah okay i'm gonna go put this in the laundry shall i do laundry upstairs or downstairs it really sucks because <laughs> Remember that one time, if you're following me on Twitter and on Instagram, I posted about that like a while ago Like I left my laundry in like for five minutes after it was done and someone took it out Which is like, no freaking way, like don't, don't ever do that um, It was like five minutes and there are three laundry machines per floor and there's a freaking laundry room on the bay, like on the ground floor So it's not like you had to take my laundry out to get the machine, there were like loads of other machines in the building but there has been clothes in a laundry machine for like three weeks now and no one has come to claim it. No one is taking it out. It stinks. It freaking stinks. So I don't want to move. Kanji test on Monday, so I'm gonna take the next 20 or so minutes to revise a little. Uh, my sheets are in the dryer, that's why I have the 20 minutes in my head. And I ordered some Uber Eats, nothing fancy, it's like my once a week thing. I just ordered uh, from this juice place that I really like, because I, I really like... You guys know I love juice, I've been craving juice, but the closest place doesn't really have food except like this one panini sandwich which is fine but I mean yeah I didn't want to do like two orders I'm trying to be reasonable but it's like my once a week thing usually on a Saturday uh, where I don't want to cook and eat the same thing as I do all week every day so uh, yeah about 20 minutes for the sheets to dry and then 20 to 30 minutes for my uber eats so during that time I'm gonna revise uh, this list of kanji, that's the one I'm gonna be tested on. You probably can't see anything, but yeah And then I have to figure out my outfit Ugh, that sounds so messy, messy background <laughs> And then I have to figure out my outfit I don't know what I'm gonna wear today because the weather is being so stupidly unpredictable So What should I wear? days since I picked up the camera since the fireworks um, Wow they were gorgeous but oh my goodness the adventure that we went through to get there and back was quite something luckily it was a show that lasted for like 90 minutes in the rain <laughs> might I as well add but like it was over two hours of 
trains and buses like just one way and then like obviously the bus because it was a big event in Kawagoe the traffic was terrible the bus was overcrowded it was like quite something to experience so I think we were both so like completely exhausted which is why I haven't picked the camera back up since then I haven't slept well these past few days so I am more than exhausted actually I feel like I haven't actually recovered from that but wow the fireworks were so so pretty and even though we didn't have tickets we had like the spot we were in was quite good so I'm really grateful that we got to experience that Mm. Other reason I haven't picked up the camera is Tuesday, actually today. So the fireworks were on Saturday. The other reason I haven't picked up the camera is because this week is crazy busy. I have so much homework, uh, tests, preparation for a big test next week, like a full-on PowerPoint presentation kind of thing. And uh, I have some client work due in, so I'm like juggling. I've been skipping yoga, which sucks because I was in like I was on a roll, and now I'm like stuck at, at day 12. So uh, yeah, I've been skipping yoga. I've had to skip like my wanikani uh, kanji studies just to get everything done. So I mean, it's good to feel busy. It doesn't mean I'm earning any money, but it's. it's, it's yeah it's hectic but it's okay I do, it just kind of sucks for like the things i have to like put aside for now today i am going to go before class it's like speed run i have to leave in a few minutes actually speed run before class i will probably be in, at class like in at school just in time or pretty late so um yeah i'm going to asakusa because today is Vina, uh, Mikan's last day at her at her job. So last time I went there, she wasn't working, uh, which I knew, but I still wanted to visit the place. But this is like the last opp opportunity to go to that little shop while she's there. So I've been stressing about it like uh, most of yesterday, and I couldn't sleep because I was stressing about it, like me and my social anxiety. Uh, but I'm gonna do it. I'm I'm just gonna go there. Uh, I will probably be too awkward to film anything but I'm gonna go there and uh, I wish I had something to give to her um, but I, I have no idea what 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 I would give her flowers but then she has to like carry it all the way back after work and maybe everyone will give her flowers today so it's like mmm what do I do I don't want to come there and empty-handed so maybe I should leave early and find something I don't know, I'm like so, mm, awkwardness intensifies, but anyway, that's what's happening today, that's what's happening right now. I'm gonna like grab all my, my books for school and lug them to Asakusa and then go directly to class, probably late. So, <laughs> this week is just like beyond full, filled to the brim, but at least I'm like getting things done. I have a big test tomorrow, I'm not ready for that, but we'll figure it out that's why i'm going now instead of after school and even though like her job ends at five which wouldn't give me enough time to go from school to her workplace before she leaves so it's now or never i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it yeah yeah big breath i'm gonna do it <laughs> tourist but I really don't have time also it's super hot and super crowded so with my stress levels as they are right now I'm just gonna head straight there taking the back streets <laughs> not the main street it's still kind of busy I think it's at the end of this street though I think so
to the station. I'm sweaty. I'm late for class, but it was so worth it. I just mm, could kick myself for not taking a selfie. But I got some footage. I'm so happy. He's so cute. They're both so cute. The shop is so cute. Everything's so cute. The fruit rod thing was super yummy. Where is the station? Uh, not this station. Wrong station. Okay, I need to hurry. Mm -hmm.